Okay, just entering the pterosaurs flight in the age of dinosaurs exhibit here at the Natural History Museum. There's a strange specimen right over here. I'm not sure what it is. In pink and blue? What strange camouflage colors? Not really sure why. Apparently one of the smallest pterosaurs discovered in China. Very interesting. Imagine not coming right towards you. I mean, wouldn't have attacked humans, but <laughs> pretty interesting to see in the sky. Or that big one way up there. Wow, if that's the actual size, which I'm guessing it is if it's in a museum. Pterosaur and dinosaur tracks. Remarkable how they can tell what's what. Takes a lot of time and effort by paleontologists and other related fields. Guess they have walked in all fours. I think if you have that as a kid, as a mobile in your crib, you'd be a pretty cool kid. I wonder how big of a gust that would create when it was flying. Imagine that. Ah, yes. Bernoulli's principle. There's an angle of attack that provides the most effective lift. Of course, pterosaurs didn't So, I'm not going to try to pronounce that scientific name, but it's larger than any other flying animal ever known. It certainly seems like it. Look at that. 33 feet. Bigger than like a, looks like a just regular single engine prop plane. Huh. Looks like a creepy pterosaur. Traditional view? Yeah. As a kid, I had some of those rubber dinosaurs and such. I know pterosaurs aren't technically dinosaurs, but yeah, as a kid. And here is a new view. Very strange looking. Huh. Could have traveled long distances at high speeds. Lighter weight pterosaurs like Jagalopteryx could afford stouter wings. They have you uh, and direction. In any have you met my friends at Jurassic Planet? Good, good to hear they're doing well. Some big crest the pterosaurs had. 
They lived for over 150 million years and diversified into many species that adapted to their unique habitats. The last pterosaurs became extinct about 66 million years ago. No one will ever they do have a very long head. But as we find more pterosaur fossils and apply powerful new techniques to our data, yeah, hmm. we can develop new theories about how pterosaurs live. Huh. That's very weird. I think they got two prongs extending in the back there from their head. Toothless jaws. That, I guess that has something to do with. I don't know, it doesn't say why. They could have remained bare like deer antlers, maybe with their decorative for mating purposes. Aerodynamic somehow, turning? I, I don't know, it doesn't say. Interesting though. And apparently they flew over at LAX before it was an airport. Hmm. Just look at those small bones right there. Walking into the next area of the pterosaur exhibit. <laughs> Darkwing? Darkwing duck? Look at all these fossils. Just amazing how well the stuff is so well preserved. And I think these are fossils and not a calf, let's say. Yep, yeah, it says it's a fossil. Very nice. Because of the shadowy color, it's called Darkwing. Hmm, it's just like flaps of skin. Wing fibers, muscle, and blood vessels. So a little bit like fur, maybe one of the kind of links between pterosaurs and maybe modern birds. Because <clears throat> dinosaurs are more closely related with birds today than with lizards and other reptiles. Anyone knows that who's watched Jurassic Park and Alan Grant got mad at uh, that, <laughs> that fat kid for messing with his raptors. Little activity center here. Hmm. Hollow bones here. <laughs> Looks almost like a hot dog. <laughs> Petrified hot dog. So it was hollow inside, but then crystals formed on the inside. Interesting. So this is one of their wing fingers. Not sure if you can see it very well through the microscope here.
This actually has wing prints in it. You can see the skin-like material that we just learned about. And this one had teeth. It says for getting fish. <laughs> Tell me, Marin. may have worked like a rudder. See the wingspan and wing type. Got the pterosaur, a bat, and a bird. Push to compare. Okay. I don't know what I did. Oh. Ah, if I hold it down, you can see the different. I guess it's saying the blue sections are analogous along with the purple and yellow sections. So that have the long kind of, I guess, wing fingers coming off, while bird does not have as long as a pterosaur. It doesn't have those segment or uh, kind of sections going off. It just has that long one wing, more common with the bird it looks like. Which makes sense, a bat's a mammal, a pterosaur was not. Interactive exhibits, very nice. Trying to be a hand model. But what happens when the angle of attack is too steep? Find out. Make it too steep. When the boundary layer breaks away from the wing, there is no more lift. The pterosaur stalls and starts to sink. Bye, pterosaur. like disco down here. <laughs> 
Look at that crest. The cry of the pterosaur. How did pterosaurs eat? Probably chased insects. Like a bat. <laughs> Shellfish, regular fish, strained food from water. like some weird wrestler name. Also, creature catcher. And meat eater, some sort of derogatory thing that some kid would say. You're meat eater. Well, maybe not derogatory, but it's not a funny to me. Fossil? Okay. This remarkable fossil is so well preserved that you can feel the scales on the fish. Note the lack of teeth and the long, straight ridges. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's very bumpy. It feels you know, like a like a normal fish. Yeah, you can feel different scales. That's neat. I like interactive exhibits. <laughs> I love how they label all their things. Here's a fabulous fossil. Remarkable find. This is also fabulous. Well preserved, this is. Huh. I guess it's so good because most or, most uh, fossils from pterosaurs are flattened during the preservation process, but this one was not. Found in Brazil. Remains of an unknown giant pterosaur. Pterosaur egg, apparently. And a juvenile pterosaur. This. Fish or snake? Huh. That's a good question. And then eggs to the gift shop. Hmm. I don't think it was technically a dinosaur. Yep, once again, pterosaurs at LAX. I don't think those are socks, those are boxers. The company's called Socket to me. Yeah, I know. Go figure. <laughs> That's a really funny t-shirt.
They have everything pterosaur. Pterosaur cups and shirts. Even boxers. I'm gonna if they have pterosaur toilet paper. You can have PTTP. <laughs> yeah, these special exhibits usually have small gift shops, but it's nice because it's related to the exhibit, not just random things for the most part. Actually, well, I'll take that. Speaking of random things, uh, looks like a brontosaurus or something. Does it say on the front what kind it is? No. What's in the pink one? The pink one? Yeah. Oh, I forget what that one's called. I think it starts with a P. It's like para, paris, phallus. <laughs> I, I, I can't, I can't really say that. This looks like a triceratops or a thoracosaurus or something like that. I don't know if each color has kind of a different one. No, no this one is orange. Oh, this one looks a lot more like a thoracosaurus. You can tell it has more uh, frills <laughs> on its, on its uh, shielded area. Frills you see all that? and shields and thrills. Yeah, this one's and, orange. And this different. one just has kind of the regular... Triceratops. I don't know, some sort of raptor? I, I don't know. Anyway. Let us head out to the rest of the museum. I'm going to create the Hello. So, what did you think of the uh, pterosaur exhibit? It was quite lovely, thank you. I especially enjoyed the interactive display where you could fly. Oh, yes, I, I do that quite frequently. Actually, I'm not sure what I am. Um, apparently, I'm a puppet. I don't know what kind of puppet I am, but... Are you having an existential crisis, Mr. Dinosaur? Well, I, I don't know if I'm a dinosaur or a pterosaur. I might just be kind of... Uh, Put here to sell merchandise to That's two kids good. who like puppets. I hope they pay well for this big dinosaur. Um, I'm looking for a good home. Would you like to stick your hand in me? I, I, I not, not today, thank you, Mr. Robert. Okay, well, I'm glad you enjoyed the exhibit and hope you learned more about the world of pterosaurs. I did, I did very much. Thank okay. you, Mr. Robert. Have a good day. You too. I have no butt.